Okay, guys, so we're gonna kill Charizard right now. Hopefully, we'll take him down with Shockwave. Oh my god, how the hell is Charizard faster than Jolteon? That's weird. Oh, that almost took me down, but not quite. So that means you're shit out of luck, Charizard, because you're gonna die. You're gonna die now. Yeah, you died. Too bad for you. Ha 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 ha. Yay, finally be Gary. Okay, so Jolteon leveled up, level 49. Ooh, 4 SP. And 4 speed. Or special attack, that's what I meant to say, not SP. I was just careless, you. Yeah, you were careless. Yep, you sure were. And that loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. Benrod, you need more practice. No, I don't. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center right now, and I'm gonna cut off right here, so I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I'm gonna fly to Cinnabar Island, and I'm gonna restock on some items because we're gonna be heading to Victory Road right now, and I'm definitely gonna need to stock up on a few things. And to me, I think Cinnabar Island is the best area to stock up on items because they have pretty much the best items in their mart. But uh, yeah, it's worth it. I thought I didn't have any revives, and I have like 15. Jeez. Yeah, I might as well buy a few, a couple. Yeah, I definitely need max repels because that's gonna be hell in there without them. Buy 15. Yes, I do. That's pretty expensive, but hey. Uh, and also some Hyper Potions, just a few more just in case. You never can have too much Hyper Potions, so... Gotta stock up on those and some full heals too. Just a few, that should be enough. There's nothing else in here that interests me, so no, I do not want to buy anything else. Okay, so now let's go back to Viridian City with my silver and... Okay, sorry. Sorry, I was just checking something right there on my desk. I had bumped into something right there with my hand, so I was... <laughs> okay, enough about that. Okay, so we're gonna go here to the Pokemon League. I've never really actually showed this area, because you could have gone here, like, since the beginning of the game, but you couldn't do anything, so... Uh, yeah. Let's go over here. This is pretty much the Pokemon League right here, except there's, like, a, like a little admission thing you have to go through. You have to have all eight badges. Oh, that is the boulder badge. Go right ahead. Yeah, and I have all badges, so we should be okay. Well, not it should be. We are okay. It's not no should or maybe. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, we have to go through all this crap like eight times. You pass here. Yay. Thunder badge. Yes, I have it. Go away. And there's actually a few items here on the way to Victory Road. Like right here is a berry, which is a lepa berry. Which, uh, I actually think Rick stores PP. I'm not totally sure. I'm pretty sure it does, though. Don't quote me, though, so. <laughs> okay, so now we have this little water area here. And there's some people here and saying, You can pass here, you are blah, 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 blah. I have the full badge. Yeah, let me pass, you asshole. And there's another one right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blah, 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 blah. I have the marsh badge. Let me pass, you asshole. Thank you. And, oh, what the heck? What the hell do you want? Jeez. I don't want you. What the hell do you want? Leave me alone. There we go. Okay, so now we're back on land, and there's actually an item over here. Stuck on the wall. It's an Ultra Ball, so eh, I guess you can pick it up. And, oh, shit. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's an Arbok. I don't think we've ever seen these before. Oh, well, actually, yeah, we have. The bikers have had them. But not in the wild. <laughs> These are actually pretty hard to catch. You know, they're, they're actually quite difficult. Because they're just so feisty. <laughs> and, uh, there's another item over here. A berry, actually. I don't remember what berry it is. We'll find out right now. It's, uh, a spear berry, or a spare, whatever you want to call it. Oh, shit! Come on! Arbok, can you freaking leave me alone? Just go bother somebody else, seriously. Just, just go. Go away. I don't want to see you anymore. Just, just go. You can pass here. Blah blah blah. Yeah yeah yeah. I have it. Let me pass you, asshole. Thank you. And let's go over here. There's another item, which is full restore. There's a lot of items here. I guess they they think that you're not going to be prepared for Victory Road, but yeah, we are. Yeah 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 yeah. I have the Earth Badge. Let me pass you, asshole. Thank you very much. And there's one last item here, which is a Citrus Berry. And now, 
Let us go inside. Oh my god. I'm so freaking scared. I'm scared of caves. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna immediately use my Max Repel because I know I'm gonna run into a Pokemon immediately when I start walking, so... And Max Repels actually really do help in this area. I don't think that they don't, so... Okay, so the theme of this area is pretty much pushing boulders around and putting them on switches. And, uh, that can be easy. It is quite easy, but you have to know which boulders to put, to put on which switch. I mean, actually, there's only pretty much one switch you can put a boulder on, but you have to know what way to move it in, which direction. Because if you move it against the wall and you can't move it down or up anymore, then you're screwed and you're going to have to exit the room and try it again. So, you know, the first few are not that bad, but once you get closer to the end, it's going to get tougher. And this right here, you pretty much have to get one item at a time. This one's a TMO2, which contains Dragon Claw. And I believe the other one is a Rare Candy, which I will go back for that probably off screen since I already told you what it is so yeah and I'm probably not gonna be showing all the battles in here I'll show this one because he can see me from far away to see how exactly how good you are well I'm very good I'm gonna kick your ass with your purple girly hair and your name is Rolando Rolando huh man he has a lot of Pokemon shit I don't know if I should cut this out or what I I'm not sure because I don't want to waste my time on too many battles, you know. I'll show a few, but not all of them, because these guys in here in Victory Road, they have like... Mostly all of them have at least five or six Pokemon. Or four or five, you know, around that area. And they take a long time to be because they're like mostly evolved Pokemon too, so... I mean, it's very good for experience, but I, I don't think I'll be showing every single one on screen. I'll just fight them off screen and, uh, you know, it... I'll just do that. I don't think it's such a big deal either, so... <laughs> Charmillion! Oh, we're, you're gonna die now. Uh, douse your tail. Okay, so... Uh, let me find something to talk about because this fight is taking forever. I mean, I'm not gonna talk about the guy and his Pokemon, so... I mean, i pretty sure... Um, that this... LP might be over, maybe around 60 parts or something or maybe 65 because the Elite Four probably it's gonna be like one video per Elite Four member and that's four so and then the second part of the game which I will be showing as well is the exploration of the Sevi Islands so I don't know how many videos that's gonna take I think it took Chuck Conroy like 10 videos or something like that I'm not sure so it might take me something around like that too I'm not totally sure but I will show it so don't think I'm not gonna I'm just gonna stop here you know after the Elite Four and that's it I'm gonna show the rest on like the Sevi Island stuff and the little side quests you can do I'm gonna show that too because it's pretty fun actually and you know showing you the new Johto Pokemon that are gonna appear yeah it's pretty cool so yeah I will show that definitely I'm actually kind of excited to do that too, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm not looking forward to fighting the Elite Four though, because I'm actually. I, I mean, I am not over level. I mean, under level over level. I'm just uh, a little worried about a specific Elite Four member, and that would probably be Lance, because I don't really have any weakness against him. I know I have Articuno, but I did say I wasn't going to use him in my team. So, I don't know, I either use him or not, because, uh, you know, I guess that would be kind of cheating, but I guess not. It's one or the other, so. But I might use him, because I really don't have any other weakness against his Pokemon, except for his Gyarados, I think he has, yeah, he has a Gyarados, which I can t easily take down with Jolteon, but the other ones... It might be a little hard, so... <laughs> we'll see about that. We'll see when we get there. I'm gonna practice anyways on my practice file, so... I'll let you guys know how that went sooner or later. Okay, so this room is pretty much the same with more boulder pushing fun. Yay for pushing boulders, because it's fun. I don't know how the heck our little character can push that. 
I mean, I know it's supposed to be the Pokemon, but where's the Pokemon? He's nowhere in sight. So it makes you think that the little kid is pushing it. You know, like, Hulk smash! Smashes a rock and pushes it or something, I don't know. Uh, but anyways. This one is Sandstorm, which I really actually don't recommend it that much. Because it's just not very good. It's pretty much an equivalent of Hail, except it's a ground type, so... I'm gonna full heal here, and uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna stop the video here. And we'll probably finish Victory Road in the next video, so... Yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's play in the sandbox, yay!